Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. As you can see, the lighting is quite low in this video. I will try to fix the lighting issue from the next video. So yeah, just avoid the lighting for this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the performance of iOS 18 beta 1. And also I will talk about the battery life. So you people were commenting that show us the Geekbench score of the iOS 18 so we can have the idea that how it is performing. Well, definitely I'm going to show you a Geekbench score over here, but I can say this is the best first beta ever. No respring, no stuck anywhere. Everything is working really fine. I know there are some heat heating issues. I am definitely going to talk about that too because I am not facing heating issues at all again. But I'm going to talk about that in the battery section. Well, in this video, let's talk about the uh, performance so starting with the performance let's talk about the geekbench score first so going into the geekbench score over here cpu geekbench i just tested out the geekbench score and here are the score it is 2259 odd single core while 5425 on a multi-core if we compare these scores with the average one as you can see over here the average iphone 14 score is 2242 while i was 18 on this device it is 2259 so it is a bit better on this device running ios 18 which is a really good news now moving to the multi-core the average iphone 14 score is 5473 but on the ios 18 running on this iphone is 5425 there is a slight difference of points but it is not any big difference which means yes the performance of the ios 18 is really good it is working really fine everything is really cool i have no issues at all in my previous video i talked about that i did face issues while swiping to these control centers but no i am not facing it is sometimes i do face but it is way better after using it for a couple of days it's been more than around four days that i was 18 is out and now it is much better in my previous video i talked about that i was facing uh, heat up issues whereby iphone is getting heat up and i was not able to charge more than 80 percent but now i am able to charge more than 80 percent which means it is not getting that warm too so going into settings and i want to show you that i charge my phone to 100 percent today which means yes heating issue is almost gone away so it is performing better after a couple of days which is also a great news now let's talk about a bit of a battery life performance over here so it's been almost four days that i'm using ios 18 for example we will see on this day as you can see i used my phone for around 75 percent according to this graph and i got screen on time or of six hours and 41 minutes which is really good for the 75 percent i was using instagram i was quite active on netflix snapchat whatsapp safari which is a good news over here now moving to the next day over here again it was around 75 to 80 percent as you can see according to the graph and from 75 to 80 percent i get screen on time of 7 hours and 27 minutes which is even better than the day before i used instagram for 1 hour 35 minute netflix for 1 hour 15 minute i was active on spotify whatsapp facebook snapchat tiktok but according to these graphs i can say battery is improving after using it for a couple of days now moving to the, this day it was like 50 percent of usage and i got five hours screen on time which is again really really good so yes battery life is much improved and also performance is much improved as you can see i have no issues with the performance and battery life at all so yeah it's a good news there are amazing features also i will become i will be bringing many different short videos in which i will be talking about the features but for now this video was all about the performance at the battery life for using ios 18 beta 1 for a couple of days now if you like this video let me know in the comment section below and i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out